Welcome to the new DLC map. So let's get to it. The first one is going to be a cat. This is blue cat number one of six. Once you start from the starting location of the level, you want to take a left and go up here. If you go straight, you'll hear a cat noise around about here. Once you hear it, head back slightly in the alcove there. Just shoot it. Good shot. Not really an alcove, is it? Anyway, the last location, look on the seaside area on the rock. You will find jar target. number one of four. Antique figurines or figures. Once you go inside this jungle type area, you'll find lots of traps that you can trigger. If you keep looking to your right hand side, you should find some climbable rock side here. Once you get to the top, we'll go over this bridge type area and keep going around till you find a downed plane. Once you find it, go left and go up towards it. Once you have dealt with all the stuff in this plane, you can now find your first or four figurines. Also, right next to the plane to the left, you'll find your letter one of six. Once you have left the down plane and carried on past to the next section. Once you back out in the open, you will get ambushed. Once you dealt with the ambush, you want to keep going straight on. So pretty much continue on with the story. Once you get to a certain distance away from this area, a cat will spawn on top of this boat. Annoying beasts always be Letter two of six. Pretty much from the last location, once you dealt with the next ambush and this door should unlock. Once you go inside, you can go left or straight. If you go left, it still ends up in the same way. But for me, we went straight. If you go straight, take a left, upside here, make sure you destroy the barricade that's blocking the path and pick up the diary on the table. Oh goody, read. Also from the last location, you should hopefully notice a bullseye you need to shoot. Once you shoot that, go into here. Now this is can be quite a pain in the bum. Hopefully I can show you the best as I can do. So first we want to do is activate this. This will make the platform rise up above you, or below you, sorry, and take a right. Take a left and pull this switch. Once you've done that, you don't want to go too quickly or else the, um, you'll fall down. Once you go over, head directly straight and go right. So this will be number two. Once you've done that, go left and head directly straight. And this time you want to head left. And activate the third switch. Once you've done all three, now you need to wait now until the platform rises up and make a run towards the treasure at the very end of the corridor. Once you reach the end, pick up the figurine and then we can leave the area. A relic, good show. So like I said, once we picked up the figurine, we now want to leave. As soon as we leave, we will find jar number two or four in the same area. Just look on the building in front of you. And I actually didn't find this one until the very end. So that one can, can be a, a pesky one. So once we found it, move on. Once you open the door with the black pirate flag, this is part of the story, so you have to do it. Keep running straight until you hear cat noise. Look on the broken archway and shoot the pussycat. Blue cat number four from the lo last location. You can go left or right, doesn't matter. But once you head down to the bottom and you have to go through another alcove or an archway. As soon as you go towards the archway, the cat will trigger. So as soon as you hit here, the cat should trigger. Now go back in, look left and look up. Cats, beastly things. Jar three or four. From the previous location, head down. And you'll see the jar number three or four just hidden away on top of that rock side. This will be figure number three. From the previous location of the jar, head down and go underneath here. At this point, you may see some treasure goblin, but we don't have to worry about this one. Just keep moving forward. If you stay to the right and start climbing up, if you go around to the left side now, then you should find a, a treasure. I think, yeah, it's a treasure puzzle. You've got to use the blue shard and you have to do the snake puzzle.
Once you figure that out, you want to go inside. This puzzle oh, is not that bad, symbols. as you may Mystery think when you first see it. A tomb? What so a there's a, um, a massive um, grave in, well, a, a massive picture right in front of it. It tells you what does what. So if you shoot in the main switch, and then on the main switch you'll see three main icons. So the first one, for me, will be this half a square, or triangle, I should say, on the left. So just correspond to what that picture says, what you need to press. So next we need a bird, so that's like a circle type thing. So it's this one here. So yeah, really, it's really not that bad, the puzzle. And the next one, I have no idea what that is. Maybe a, a jaguar or tiger? So this will be... I have no idea what that icon is. But once you press it, it will unlock the door. And then you can go in there and freely grab your figurine. So once you have left the area, so as soon as you leave this snake area, you want to go right. But if you're facing towards a door, you want to go left. So once we jump down, this will be an ambush section. So as soon as you near enough get to close to the door, ahead. you'll get an ambush. We'll soon see about that. Then if you look to the left, Man, drop down one level and you'll find this letter on top of some, well, on top of some rocks. Once you get into the next section, this will be another one of them puzzles. Once you solve it. You want to climb the stairs. Once you climb the stairs, turn around because you'll hear the cat meow. And then on the top right there, that's number five. Letter four of six. So from the previous location, now we want to head into the next zone. Once we go in, we'll find some ammo if you need to grab it. And then you'll find some stairs going down. If you go to the left of the stairs before we go down, you'll find the next letter. Near enough from the last location, go down the stairs and just continue the only way you can. Can't really miss it, so head up the stairs and you should find another alcove or an archway that you can shoot a, a, um, a switch that can trigger a trap. But for now, that is the correct way to go, but we want to go to the right. Once we go inside, Look right once again into the seaside or in the sea or the river, and we'll find the last and final jar on top of the rocks. Belong in a museum. So, this is the last and final figurine of this mission. So, once we activate the pressure pad, there will be a puzzle where we have to step on. If you look above the door, you will see three icons that go left from right. Uh, pretty much just look at them and just go left to right. It's not really that difficult, I don't think. So you start from the left one, go to the middle one, go to the right one, and just keep repeating that process, so left to right, left to right, until you get to the end. Once you've done that, you can grab the last collectible. Good show, Strange Brigade. That's one for the mantelpiece there, all right. Letter five or six. Once we dealt with the enemies, this door should unlock. And once we leave the next door, you want to go left. A sharp left. There will be a switch here. This will unlock the door behind you. This is not part of the story, so you can miss this one. Now go for the door and be careful of the fire trap. Once you have successfully made it over, there will be a letter on the left. Could be some jolly useful information. So this will be the blue cat six and golden cat one of one. So once you've done the last letter, head up the stairs. If you look to the right, you'll find the cat door. Once you get to the top, you hear the cat meow. Turn around just to the left. And shoot the cat. You, Once you've done that, now go shot. into the door to grab the golden the cat. Treasures of the ancient world. Now ours to loot and plunder. Celebratory drinks back at the officer's mess. And the last and final collectible of this mission will be the letter six or six. 
So once we leave the cat room, now continue on with your story until you get to your final campfire. Once you get here, look right on the balcony side, you will find your last letter. Oh, jolly good, a nice bit of